hi guys welcome or welcome back to my channel my name is Kanisha if you already don't know and in today's video we are gonna be reading romance books for a week it's currently Wednesday when I'm filming this because honestly I just didn't feel like picking up the camera for Monday and Tuesday but I have been reading romance books for those two days so I'm gonna they're gonna be part of the video and I'm gonna show you guys so the first book is The Right Move by Liz Tomford 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 this is the second book in the Windy City series. This follows Ryan Shay and Indy. And this is about like NBA instead of NHL, which was the first book. So I'm assuming this whole series is going to be like sports really, like most of the sports. Really good. I really like this one. This one honestly might be a five stars. I'm not too sure yet, but if I continue reading, it might be. It might be. And then the other romance book that I've been reading is Practice Makes Perfect by Sarah Adams. I've actually been listening to this one on audiobook and I'm 50% in. But I'm loving both books so far. I think they're really good. And I can't wait to continue reading these ones because I'm just so excited. So, yeah. Is so good it's so much better than the mile high like <sighs> the thing I love about books is acts of service and this book is filled with acts of service like oh my god let me get my annotations because I want to talk about them so badly one part where her parents they have they do sign language and so he wants to take like lessons so he can actually talk to her dad without her having to like translate all of it which i'm like hello this i have been waiting for the second book because i've heard the second book is so good because of these small little things and i'm so happy i had no hope in the series because of the first book the first book wasn't really good but the second book is so good and i'm so happy that i'm continuing the series because this is just amazing like ryan shea you are book boyfriend material for real for real i finished the right move by liz tomford yesterday and my rating for this is a four stars i love the characters so much like ryan and indy they are a match made in heaven but this book is repetitive i felt like this book should have been shorter because it just kept on going and going and i'm like when is this gonna end to the point where I didn't read basically the last 100 pages because I just could not bear the thought of reading these characters again. Like, it just became like, they would have a problem, then they would solve it, and then they would have a problem again and solve it. Like, it just kept on going, and I'm like, why? What? What's the point? Like, this should have been shorter. This was like a, almost a 400 page book, and I feel like... It should have been 300 pages instead but overall still love the characters so much i think this is probably my favorite in the series right now but this is only the second book so we'll see what happens so the next book we're going to be reading is the love of my afterlife by christine greenwood this was sent to me by berkeley and they were so nice to send me an ARC. This one is obviously already on sale, I think the beginning of July. And I've heard so many great things about this. Basically, we follow our main character, Delphine. She dies one day and somehow she meets the one in the afterlife. And she's been given a second chance to go find him on Earth. And she has 10 days to find him. So I'm excited. I haven't read anything like this before, so can't wait to get into the book and it's not that long of a book it's less than 400 pages so i should fly by this quickly so yeah let's start reading that tv show that's literally my favorite tv show and 
this the character the main character almost reminds me of Eleanor a little bit especially the way that she dies it's such like a such like a lame uncool way to die and obviously Eleanor is kind of like this lonely person and I feel like Delphine she's a little bit like that so I don't know maybe she like drew inspiration from Eleanor but maybe she did which I really like because I love that show anyways so The Love of My Afterlife by Christine Greenwood and my rating for this is a 3.75. This was a cute book. I liked it but I'm not obsessed with it. Like I'm not going to remember any of these characters ever again but it was a very like typical romance book. Very tropey. All of that. There's a lot of like fake dating, enemies to lovers, next door neighbor, like all of that. All of the typical tropes that you would find in a romance book it's in this book. It was giving kind of like Wattpad vibes, but honestly, I just had a fun time. It was such a quick read, but honestly, it was still cute. I liked it. It's not the worst thing in the world, but I mean, if you just want a quick, cute read, because I literally finished this in a day, so okay. yeah. So I don't know if you can hear music outside. Hopefully you can, but it's just like the people that play music at the park. They just like to do it on the weekends. While reading the other books, I have been listening to Practice Makes Perfect by Sarah Adams. I have like three hours left for this book, like three hours left for audiobook. I'm not too sure if I'll listen to the rest. I think I'll just read the rest because honestly, audiobook just takes so long. I feel like I've been listening to this book since forever. And I actually really like it. I think the concept is so cute. You're following Annie and Will and they're kind of like kind of like opposites like Annie she owns like a cute flower shop and Will is like a tattooed bodyguard and so they decide to make a deal where he teaches Annie how to date because she doesn't go on that many dates and also she's a wreck when it comes to dates so Will is there to help her and obviously it kind of involves like fake dating a little bit which obviously is one of my favorite tropes in the world so yeah, it's been good. There's not too much to say about it because obviously it's just a romance book. But anyways. Practice Makes Perfect. I think last time I told you guys I had three hours left. I now have two hours left. We're almost towards the end. Can't say too much about that book. I mean, like, it's getting drawn out now and I'm kind of zoned out from that book, but... I have a feeling I already know what the ending's gonna be. I'm gonna continue reading and I will update you guys later. Okay, so I kind of forgot to film an outro for this video because I went to the island, so I have just not filmed. But anyways, I just wanted to give an update that I finished Practice Makes Perfect by Sarah Adams and I gave that one a 3.5 stars. I loved the story, I thought it was cute, but towards the end, it started getting really boring and I just stopped connecting with the characters but I loved Annie and Will. I think they're such a cute couple. It was such a good like summer book. Honestly this whole time thought they were in Rome. Like Rome, Italy. Not Rome, Kentucky. I was very confused. But yeah 3.5 stars. It was such a cute book. I still love it. Still recommend it. Love the audiobook. It really like whoever was narrating it it kept me intrigued. I like that because sometimes audiobooks, it just goes out one ear to the other. But I was also going to include Out on the Limb by Hannah Spo Bowen Young. I don't know if that's her name. I might be wrong. I was going to include that, but I only read a couple pages before I left on my trip. Like I only got up to 95 pages, so there's no point of counting it and I knew I didn't have time to film anyways while I was on the trip. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know you guys voted on reading romance books for a week and I love romance books. So hope you guys enjoy this vlog. I wish it could be longer. I didn't realize I didn't film that much for some reason. But if you do want longer videos, let me know and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!